Well, today I got the idea to try to add anime hair on someone's head. Oh god. Hi everyone, I'm back with a new format. I came up with the name My VFX Way. Usually I do everything beforehand and then tell you how I did it either as a tutorial or a breakdown. But this time I want to show you the process itself. How I'm trying to get the result I want, how I suffer when things don't work. In general, I don't know what I'll get, but I hope you'll like it. So today I got the idea to try to add anime hair on someone's head. I found this free footage. So why anime hair? I just like the way they look when the wind blows on them. I think only in anime it looks so cool and beautiful. So I have two ideas how to do it. One is so to speak the correct way. I mean this is how all the professionals would do it. You have to do the camera tracking first and then the head tracking. That way you get an accurate representation of the space in your 3D program. And after you create the hair, it will flow physically correctly with the wind or rotation of the head. The second way is very wrong and dumb. The idea is to track not the space around the girl, but her head. The camera will see her face as a static environment, and if she turns her head to the side in the video, the program will think that the camera must be rotating, not her head. I hope I explained it well. In any case, you'll see it for yourself, as I will use this method first. All because I'm not an expert in professional tracking. So, I hope that everything will work and I won't have to try the first method. So, I drew a mask around her face and now the most important thing is after I click on track camera, After Effects will do everything for me. And ideally, we should have a camera hovering around her face. It seems to work for me initially, but as soon as I looked at the virtual camera, it was clear that the camera was just standing still. It looked like it was on a tripod. It shouldn't be like that, okay? <laughs> the camera should be moving. Okay, I have one more try. Camera settings, I'll click on detailed analysis and we'll see. Okay, it seems to work. Very jerky, but maybe I can still work with it. As I said before, in this method the program thinks there is a static object in front of it, with the camera rotating around that object. It's super wrong, but to me this is the fastest way and it doesn't matter how I did it. The most important thing is how it will look in the end. So I transferred the camera and plane from After Effects to Blender, and if you're wondering how, there is a tutorial on my channel and I'll attach a link to it. So everything is transferred over just fine. I put Suzanne in there as an example. <laughs> yeah, it looks extremely weird, but the main thing is that it worked. Suzanne's head is holding good enough on top of the girl's head. There is a jerkness there, but that's easy for me to manually fix. Just a reminder, don't expect a perfect Hollywood result with this method. But you can still do something very cool with it. Okay, I downloaded the base head model and replaced Suzanne with it. And here I got stuck for a while. 
at the beginning I thought that it's no big deal. So then the head stays perfectly on the head, new head will just stick and I'll only have to correct a few things. The tracking data I got from After Effects sucks after all. I have to do a lot of manual adjustments relying heavily just on my eye because the head doesn't match. So I have to figure out where everything's supposed to go. Anyway, this is what I end up with. Not ideal, of course, but it will do. Now we can finally create the hair. If you already seen my Blender X Deepfake tutorial, then you already know very well that I am very bad with hair. Well, I've been doing all the steps wrong since the beginning of this video, but there I at least chose to do that way. But here my knowledge is limited. In general, my goal is to try to create a more or less nice hairstyle. After a few hours I kinda got a decent result and also already added some wind there. Nice! Now let's add material to the hair. Since we are doing an anime hairstyle, I think it should be something colorful. Yeah, great. Maybe... Let's add some gradient. Mmm, no... No... Huh. Now, that seems nice. So, you see, the hair goes through the face here, and there's a bald spot. I have an idea how to fix it. Just trust, trust me. I'm going to duplicate your head, one will only have the hair, and the other head will be a holdout, which means that in the rendering the hair behind the head won't be visible. And now? We go into sculpting and start compressing her face so that the hair doesn't go through it anymore. Bruh. We're not rendering this face, so you can do whatever you want with it. Oh god. Looks awful. But I think that's the beauty of this video format. I'm showing you how you can experiment and have fun with it. I have a lot of ideas of what I want to create in 3D, but it always takes a lot of time and, for example, if you want to move on to another project, when you switch to something else, you may lose interest and motivation to finish the first one. That's why I like finding different ways to make these videos in the shortest possible time, so that it still looks good enough. Okay, it seems to be finished. Now I can put it on render and the next stage will be the final one. I imported the render sequence into After Effects. Oh my god. It's horrible. But if you are thinking that everything is ruined, I advise you to not jump to conclusions. The final stage of the project is compositing and here we do the magic. So let's start with the shape of the hair. As we can see, somewhere it gets in the face, somewhere it looks just flattened and ugly at the same time. Uh, here we can use the liquify tool. In some places I added volume to the hair. Next, let's adjust the color and contrast. Add the shadow. Ideally, the shadow should be rendered together with the hair, but that's assuming you have the right head shape. In our case, we have to create a fake shadow. I 
I could already put it on render now, but I think there's another detail missing. We can make her eyes colored as well. And you know, that could be another element that would help the hair fit better on the head. Now I think that's it. So I present to you the final version. I think it came out pretty good. I know, I know, it would have looked 10 times better if I put more effort into it. But my goal was to show you my thought process and the challenges you might face. I think this kind of video format can be very informative, useful and possibly motivating for some of you. Post in the comments if you like this format, click the like button if you found this video entertaining and... Bye everyone.